so here we are with a train Voyager. It's a baby one, 12 and a half tons. And today I'm replacing this inducer because the bearings are shot and you can hear them grinding from downstairs. One of the big things with these Voyagers that a lot of techs coming up don't realize is behind here where this mounts is a little disc screen that's being held together by two of the four bolts that mount this to the shell that is very very important when it comes to firing this this unit up because if it's dirty if it's covered in anything it will prevent the unit from running the unit will fire it'll run for like three seconds fall and the flames will go out i've seen guys come back replace the inducer place the gas valve the hot service igniter and they'll change the limit down there they'll change the limit in the blower when in reality it's just a dirty screen that needs to be cleaned when i take this apart to remove it i'll uh show you the screen and so you, you know you can see it in the future and know to clean that whenever you have any combustion problems with these voyagers as you can see this is that round disc I was talking about. See how it gets dirt on it? If those holes get clogged up, you're not going to have flame. It'll, it'll light and then it'll fail. It's simple. I usually take either you know, the bristle brush that you use to brush down a coil, a steel brush works, anything really. Just You just want to get the dirt off of this thing. And then you really have to make sure you mount that back in there. As you can see, it usually mounts like that into the screw holes. It's a very important piece. I've seen people leave this over here out of the unit. It always makes a problem. It's always a callback. I always try to explain to them the importance of this little piece here. If it's missing, order a new one. If it's broken, order a new one. If it's dirty, clean it. If it can't be cleaned because it's just completely rusted out, probably means the heat exchanger is rusted out too. You might want to take a look at it, but this one, this heat exchanger, it's fine. I checked earlier when I uh, quoted the bearings. This extremely important. Really, all there is for this is steps to replace it. To plug and play. One thing I forgot to mention is very important. The inducer motor comes with the gasket. Replace the gasket around this edge. If you do not, you're going to have a big problem. When this gasket breaks down or missing, you will get a gas smell in the space. It's gonna happen. There's no stopping it. I've seen guys save themselves because they lost this piece and instead of going to the supply house, they'll get silicone, but that just makes a huge mess and makes it a thousand times harder to replace it in the future. It comes with a gasket. It comes in a little plastic bag in the box. Change it, please. Or if the other one is in really good shape, then just leave it in there for the future. Like, leave it in this compartment because it is so important to not have that gas smell entering the space and causing all kinds of problems and callbacks.